Howdy Pokemon trainers and welcome back to Pokemon. Today I'm going to be unwrapping yet another one of these type tins. I've done the dark, fire, electric, and water so far. And now I'm moving on to grass. Next time I'll be doing the fighting and hopefully I will get to the... If there is any more of these. As I said before, I use them for all my energies. I'm really hoping they release one for fairy type. I really doubt it, considering they haven't done anything for that ever since X and Y. Point being, I just really want to see something with fairy type so I can use it to store my fairy type tins. Besides that, the only other ones you would need is a psychic type, or I guess poison or ghost type could also work for that typing. Oh, did I not? Oh, oh there we go. I say this every time, but if you're going to open it up this way, get a parent to cut it open. Sharp object. I would say I'm experienced, but let's not lie to kids. Is it the same? Yep. It looks like a Lost Origin and two Silver Tempest. And yet another Charizard coin. I do find it annoying that there's not a single, well, technically this is a final evolved starter Pokemon, and so is this, but I wanted to see a Torterra, or even, I want to see a Turtwig, Torterra, even a Grotto, Grudel thing. You get the point, the in-between stage. Okay. As I've learned... Lost Origin is the cream of, it's the piece of resistance. I'll save that for the very end. Let's get the Silver Tempest out of the way, and hopefully they may be able to redeem themselves on this tin. Otherwise, well, this is just going to be sad. There you guys go. energy out of the way and let's get going okay did I already yeah I already had a sand gas so I'm already going into doubles and yet again this silver tempest is just being a letdown I already knew silver tempest had very high draw had very low draw rates but this is just sad Okay. Hmm. A V card. I'm gonna make my normal statement of, I think that bodes well. If you see a V card, that means you may actually have a V card, a V Pokemon card. Let's see if that statement holds true. And it doesn't, well, technically it does. Victini, it may be the victory Pokemon, but if you look, that V star and that V shaped head, I wouldn't say it's a V Pokemon, but it's a leap. Give me that. Oh, wait. A touch up to five thing from your discard pile to any of the Pokemon you like and do two damage in the process. Now, only if it didn't have 70 health, it may have actually be a good Pokemon to use in battle. Okay, time for the piece of resistance. So far, our um, Lost Origin hasn't failed me yet. Wait, Lost Origin... Yep, I got that right.
clown. I got a holographic Snorlax, but I think getting the fire type gym leader as a card is not bad. Hmm. The card's ability could use some work. Being allowed to draw back in, throwing your hand into your deck and drawing four cards is pretty darn helpful if you have a trash hand. Let's just be serious. But if you have only one Pokemon on your field, and let's be honest, that would be a really pain in the butt scenario to be in. So... I'm going to say it again, Lost Origins saved my butt with this tin. So, I'll give Lost Origin definitely the win on this one. But with that said, it's the end of the episode. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Here's the code cards one more time. Just have a great rest of your day. See you all later. And keep on... Well, keep on catching Pokemon trainers, but I guess in this case scenario, it would be keep on collecting. <laughs>